Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the starter drive kit components in your engine starter, make sure the engine has cooled. The ignition switch is in the off position and the key has been removed, if applicable. If necessary, disconnect the headlight wire harness. Then lift up the hood or engine cover and detach it. Now rotate the air filter cover retaining knobs counterclockwise and pull off the cover. Lift out the air filter. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw inside the filter housing. Now use a 3 8 inch socket or wrench to unthread the four blower housing mounting bolts. Detach the oil drain tube and lift off the blower housing. Now hold the starter cap down and use two flathead screwdrivers to help pry the retaining ring off. You should use eye protection during this step. Use a half inch socket to unthread the left mounting bolt securing the starter. Use a half inch wrench to loosen the right mounting bolt. Pull the starter away from the engine to lift off the starter cap, spring, and wave washer, along with the gear and base assembly. You're now ready to install the new starter drive kit components. Position the new base on the shaft, followed by the gear. Next, slide on the wave washer, followed by the spring and starter cap. Realign the starter on the engine, then secure it with the mounting bolts. Remember to secure the wire retainer under the left bolt and secure the wires before tightening the bolt. Now set the new retaining ring on the shaft with the opening facing outward. You can use pliers to help fully seat the ring. Reposition the blower housing. Make sure the housing is properly seated on the air diverter. Rethread and tighten the mounting bolts to secure the housing. The longer bolts go in the back. Replace the screw in the filter housing. Reposition the air filter. Realign the cover and rotate the retaining knobs clockwise to secure. Reattach the oil drain tube to the blower housing. Reinstall the hood or engine cover. And reconnect the headlight wire harness if applicable.